Right, we uh, have started talking about security metrics and we are going to continue talking about security metrics um, for a couple of sessions yet. But uh, in this one, I have mentioned uh, Brotby and Hinson's book, Pragmatic Security Metrics, and the fact that pragmatic is an acronym that they have created to uh, remind you of the ways to choose security metrics appropriate to whatever it is that you are doing. Um, you cannot simply just choose things that will produce numbers and expect that to assist you in managing your security and assessing whether or not you are doing it properly. So, pragmatic starts out with predictive. You need to choose metrics that are going to let you know what's going to happen in the, in the future in, in some way. You don't just want to know what has happened in the past without any indication that this will uh, help you on an ongoing basis. Relevant, and, and of course this is this is a very big one. This you know, in a, in a sense, is the whole ball of wax. Relevant, you you want to have metrics, numbers, measures, tests, and measurement that mean something, that are relevant, that uh, are going to help you in terms of managing, planning, strategizing, uh, driving your tactics with regard to your security. Um, with regard to your security plan, your program, and that sort of thing. So just simply having numbers of packets flying through your network probably doesn't tell you an awful lot except that your network is busy. Uh, you need to uh, determine how much of that traffic is uh, useful, how much of that traffic is attacking you, how much of that traffic is, uh, you know, direct malicious attacks, uh, how much you detect on a regular basis from the, the tools that you are using and how much you have to figure out for yourself. And we'll, we'll get into that more when we get into telecommunications. Actionable. Uh, again, the numbers need to tell you something that you can take action on, that, that give you something to do. Uh, uh, not just numbers that, that tell you, oh, you're in trouble and there's absolutely nothing you can do about it, or uh, you're in trouble and we don't know what you can do about it. Uh, nothing in these numbers help us to decide what kind of tools to uh, use uh, by uh, what kind of resources to commit to this. Genuine, genuine numbers. Uh, you want things that are realistic, not just uh, not just made up. Um, oh, I, one of them is uh, uh, the opinion surveys. An awful lot of uh, advice that you will get from the the major names in security news um, comes from opinion surveys. You know, people tell you, uh, you know, that what they think is important about security. Well, you know, who knows whether or not they actually know. Uh, this is just their opinion. This is, this is not a genuine number. This is not uh, realistic in terms of what the security stance is. It's just, you know, it's their opinion. Um, that isn't genuine. That isn't going to be useful to you. And, and uh, meaningful uh, is basically the same thing. You know, similar to, to relevant uh, and similar to the genuine. You, know, you want meaningful numbers. I, I've got to admit, yes, there is some duplication here in, in forming this acronym of pragmatic. They, they've, you know, pushed things a bit. But 
it's still very useful to go through this list figure out you know are you following the pattern on are your numbers your measures uh, uh, realistic and and useful to you and your organization your enterprise uh, okay so we have had meaningful accurate accurate me metrics um, again you know we're dealing with numbers here um, it's always interesting in terms we'll get into risk management and and one of the things that we say in terms of risk management in uh, qualitative risk analysis uh, as opposed to quantitative quantitative you have numbers real actual numbers uh, but qualitative risk management they very often uh, want you to sort of rank the threats and you know you may color code it red green yellow uh, you may do high medium low uh, you know and, and descriptive terms on that regard type of thing but um, the uh, you know even even letters ABC but don't do numbers because as soon as you put numbers in there people think those numbers are real and mean something and of course uh, you know when you're just ranking qualitative stuff no those numbers don't actually mean anything you can't add and subtract them they're not accurate representations of anything timely make sure that you can collect the numbers on a timely basis that that you uh, do have uh, something that tells you what is happening now, not what happened a month ago or two months ago. You know, that's not terribly useful in terms of helping you to decide what action you need to take now. And independent. Um, an awful lot of times uh, people will set up a bunch of metrics they will get these metrics they will find numbers that are accurate that are relevant meaningful but a whole bunch of them derive from one single number that they are uh you know they, they're dependent on uh one thing so basically you are measuring the same thing over and over again in slightly different ways so make sure that your uh your metrics are independent uh and cheap the last one uh, for the pragmatic acronym. Yeah, you know, always pay attention to your resources. Which is giving you the most effective result? Um, you know, look at the look at the cost. Sometimes in terms of resources, sometimes in terms of actual dollars and cents. In regard to what information, what metrics you are in fact getting.